Hey there, fellow wisdom seekers. So sorry I missed out on doing a mineral minute last week. I apologize. I got sidetracked by getting ready for a ceremony that we were doing, um, welcoming summer, but also welcoming new energies into ourselves. It was very much about, you know, the typical release of heavy energy, but this was a physical transmutation. The, the ceremony was unbelievable. We have video evidence of working with St. Germain in the violet flame for transmutation of energy. And for heart healing energy, we were working with um, any heart healing, but that's green energy. Some, some, um, some cultures use dragons. Some cultures use Archangel Raphael, who is green. Anyway, at the end, we have a video where this violet orb, this purple orb, goes around and through the fire and then comes up to the right, and all of a sudden there's green wings just showering energy down onto everybody. It was, it's insane. So, don't know if you've seen it, but check it out. Anyway, <laughs> so continuing with my the healing theme, right now i wanted to talk to you about seraphonite and seraphonite a green stone as we're talking about healing um a lot of green stones are healing a lot of green stones affect heart energy but seraphonite is a pretty incredible stone and i want to show you these seraphonite if you can see those there you go okay seraphonite it's called that because I think it, these are not just white marks on them. They actually look iridescent. They look like angel wings. And Seraphonite is a self-healing regeneration, brings wholeness, angelic connection, attunement to the divine feminine, a premier healing stone of this age. It resonates strongly with all levels of the angelic domain even the highest angelic domain, so archangels, excellent for angelic connection and meditation or dreaming, aids in releasing emotional energies that no longer serve. So if you have jealousies, envy, resentment, sadness from a while ago, well, that one's pretty cool. Um, this helps you to release all that stuff. Um, it brings enlightening, joyful energy to the emotional body. It's excellent for general healing of systemic imbalance or disease, and it can be helped, get this, it can be helped to regulate the reproduction of cancerous cells. Yeah, can you believe that? Um, actually, it works for all types of cancerous cells, and it actually resonates with all chakras as well. And I wanna talk about how I do believe stones work. I believe it's all frequency. Of course, I'm a sound healer, so I believe everything is frequency, but truly everything does have a frequency. The reason why we see color is because it has a frequency and that's the frequency that we are seeing. We all have different frequencies in our bodies and throughout our bodies. And I believe that the stones work by emitting their frequency. And you ever play with a tuning fork? and you have one tuning fork and it's perfectly still and you bring the other tuning fork up and you hit that one and it's vibrating, you bring it close to the still one and the still one starts to vibrate as well. Well, I feel that's how stones work for us. Um, we bring that vibration into our aura, into our energy field, and it starts to change our vibration, our frequency in that area. So when working with Seraphonite, if you're using it for physical healing, I wanna show you a couple of these. If you're using it for physical healing, especially for um, cancer, we normally don't make physical claims about a stone, like how it can affect you physically. But this has helped a few people that we know, at least to regulate the growth of the cancerous cells. We suggest that you hold it as close to the area that is affected as possible. So some people have taped them to their breasts. Some people have taped them to their sides. I actually made a headband uh, for my cousin who has brain, brain cancer. And I don't know if she's wearing it. I hope she is. But, um, but seraphonate is such an amazing stone. And I think it's aptly named after the seraphim, the angels. Um, so 
come check out Sarah for night. It's a little bit pricier. For these small pieces, they're $3.50, but normally we only get larger pieces and they sell for like $12, $25, so this is cool. We do also have some Seraphonite jewelry, which is really beautiful, and that works beautifully on someone who possibly has anything going on in the chest, in the head, we have earrings. I'm not trying to sell them so much, I'm just saying jewelry of this stuff is really, really effective. Okay, until next time, I'll talk to you soon, bye.